Oh my god, get the hook. Got him. Oh, that's a, that's a balloon. Yes. <laughs> Big old balloon perch. My favorite. Oh, Close it, show you. Oh, okay. I'm good to go. <laughs> I was close. Almost didn't make it up the hill on my own house. Woo! And we're off. We're going to Lake Simcoe. What? We're going to Lake Simcoe. And we are chasing Jumbo Perch, baby. And we're set up. Finally, we made it. We are all set up. Uh, we left this morning around seven o'clock. Um, holy smokes. If you guys ever want to get into camera making and video making, just know that you're sacrificing at least six hours of your day. It took me three hours to get pretty much here and all set up, done and done. I mean, we got the hut, heater, you got your camera, underwater camera with all your hookups, with the with the battery hookup right here, you got the live scope here. Um, you know, you drill your holes, you're re-drilling holes. For example, got the camera all out here, got the camera set up out there, just because I always like to use the side door, it's easy to get out here, set up that camera there. It's a disaster, usually, half the case, it's always a, always a disaster, but I mean, I do it for everybody. I mean, I know everybody loves to see the videos, the underwater camera footage. It's awesome. Um, I absolutely love it too. I love rewatching it. Um, it's just something to document it. Since I fish by myself, not a lot of people can take photos of me of, of those tr trophy catches. So capturing it in the moment is super cool. Uh, and I kind of use that for myself uh, just to be like, hey, yeah. Oh, I think I saw a fish in the background. So we're going to set up. Uh, we're all set up. Got a slab grabber down there, camera. Pretty much gonna chill out we're in only 10 feet of water 12 feet of water call it um and we're sight fishing them pretty much so hopefully we can get some big ones this lake simcoe jumbo throwdown is going on a lot of guys are out right now like tons of guys i mean we're we're just fishing cook's bay today tons of guys out that way a lot a lot of huts just tons of huts we're on simcoe i'm excited i can't wait i hope i really hope perch come around uh, there'd be nothing more that I want and uh, that I'd enjoy the, than to get into some jumbo perch for all of you. So without further ado, stay tuned. Let's see if we can put some perch on the floor. Or on the ice. I meant on the ice. Put some perch on the ice. <laughs> you going to just stare at it or are you going to eat it? Got him. Such a light bite. Such a light bite. First jumbo of the season, baby. <laughs> Look at that. Freaking beauty. Just 11. Just an 11 incher. We'll let him go. Bring me the big one, buddy. Just create that cloud of smoke. So all I'm doing right now is I got a heavy lead jig on. It's my burbot spoon. I just have a one and a half ounce lead jig. All I'm doing is I'm just smashing that bottom. Absolutely stirring up all that silt, all of that sand, everything down there pretty much. 
creating this massive cloud. It almost mimics like feeding fish in this area. Um, and what that's going to do is that's going to raise up a lot of the bugs and all the red worms and all the, the stuff on the ground. And these fish will sniff that out and eventually come this way. But you can notice how once I stir it up, you got to give it a couple rips. And what that does is it brings it all up into the air. And that, that's what that's what calls those fish in. A lot of people will just smash the bottom. You can see if you just smash the bottom like that on the screen, you're just creating a silt cloud on the bottom. But if you actually hit the bottom a little bit, create that silt cloud, and give it those rips it needs, you can see how all of that all of that cloud just gets absolutely ripped up into the air. And then that's what sends a smog around that area. And usually within, you know, 20 minutes or so you'll you'll start seeing some bigger fish roll around a lot of people just mistake and drop down and wait for the best I mean yeah you could wait and hope for the best but if you're not working it and you're not doing something then chances are you're probably not gonna have the amount of jumbles that come through your hole as often all right and we set up for the sixth time Woo, I tell you, finding these jumbles ain't easy and then having to deal with an underwater camera and then all this other setup stuff, I'll tell you, it is very tough to get something, oh, but, oh, he's still down there, oh gosh, oh my goodness, there's a few of them that look like absolute barrels down there. Look at that thing. Oh gosh. Oh, he's looking for it. Oh, that thing's a beast. Dude, just eat it. Just eat it, dude. Got him. Oh, that's a barrel. Oh, that's a barrel. Oh. Oh, we got some fish down there. I'll tell you that. Oh, oh I think I'm hooked up already. Open your mouth. That's a beauty. Look at that fish. We're gonna have to get a measurement on this thing. 12, he ain't gonna do anything. We got some barrels down there. Good ones, look at this guy. <gasps> oh, I got him. Oh, barely hooked though. Barely hooked, barely hooked, barely hooked. Oh no, he's in my transducer. Oh, I thought he was bigger than that. I thought he was bigger than that. They look like units on the screen though, but beauty, hold on. We got a little bit of a situation on the camera. Got to clean you out. That's a beauty, not a giant. I mean, he's he goes 12 inches, 12 incher. Those are those are good fit. All oh, right, right, right. Hold on, Bernie. I got a big one under me right now. Hold on, buddy. That's a big one. Oh my goodness. Got him. That's a barrel. Oh yeah, that's a barrel. Oh, he's pulling drag. Oh, oh yeah, that's a bait. That's a barrel. Gentlemen. <laughs> oh, that is an absolute beauty. That's a good jumbo. Lake Simcoe jumbo. Look at that. I'd say he's probably 13. We're probably going to enter this guy in the tournament just because he'll give me somewhat of a starting ground. Yeah, he's 13. That's a beauty. <laughs> All right, let's enter him into Fish Donkey here. And get back in there. We'll get so for this tournament, it's a Lake Simcoe Jumble Throwdown. All you're doing is pretty much um, taking a length of the fish. You got to take a picture of the length of the fish on a bump board, uh, certified bump board for the tournament. Then you got to take a selfie with it, and then you got to take a video all in the app of a release of it in the time being that you have that fish to, to verify your catch. So it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool layout. Uh, last year it took like 72 inches to win it. The year before was a little different. It was a coagulation of five species, a pike, a perch, a lake trout, uh, a white fish, and I, or I think it was just four, four species actually you just had to catch. Um, if I can recall, it was that. 
and uh, I came second. Um, I lost by literally 0.5 of an inch, I believe, or one inch um, in total inches, and that was a heartbreak. But uh, last year I didn't do too well. I think I came like 12th. Uh, didn't really spend a lot of time for perch. I just didn't put in the time for perch that I should have, and I knew I should have put in more time for perch, and I didn't. But this year, oh no, no, there's a big one down there, and I freaking hooked this one. There's a big one down there though. Like there is a big one down there. I saw him, I looked down the hole and I saw him swim through. So hopefully this year, we're gonna put a little bit more time in, in terms of trying to catch perch. See if we can get some more jumbos out of it. There we go, that's a better fish. That's a better fish. Look, find it. Yup. Yeah. He ate that pretty sick yeah that's a better fish look at that that is that's a long fish that that might that might help I might have to put him in the tournament too he might be 12 12 and a half me check it out beauty not a giant but that's a great perch great perch <sighs> what are you going oh wow he's actually 13 He's just long. Yep, he touches 13. We'll take him. We'll submit him. That's a 13er. I'll take him. He's a start. He's a start to getting some bigger ones, you know. We're, uh, that's a great little start there. If we can get some bigger fish, that'd be ideal. We gotta go to the juice. I'm losing my mind right now because I want the jump on. Oh my god, barrel, barrel. Oh my god, barrel. Got him. Oh, buddy. There we go. There we go. That's a barrel, baby. Camera's gonna die just now. Gotta change the batteries out. Woo! <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Beautiful. We're gonna send him home. See you later. Well, that's a wrap. Didn't do well today. We put uh, two on the board. One was uh, 12. 12 and three quarter and the other one is uh, 12, 20, 12 and a quarter. My hair is just brutal. But we're headed out of here, machine's warming up. Love that thing. Uh, if you see me how I pack my hut, I'll run that down on how I pack my hut too. It's I feel like my hut is bigger than a lot of people's out here and a lot of people don't know how to put them up or take them down that quick, but put up a little bit of a tip on that. But yeah, first time on Simcoe great we got eight inches of ice awesome cook's bay beautiful not a, not a lot of guys out here um we're pretty much the only ones on our spot but for the most part uh, i can't wait to get back out here so we'll be back on simcoe probably in about just after the weekend um and then maybe we'll be able to get out some white fish and lake trout crowns um hopefully the weather turns around and gets a little colder right now we're just getting stuck with a lot of mild temperatures but without further ado thanks for tuning in it's uh been a, it's been an interesting one this year, but we're trying to get as much content to you. So stay fishy, stay frosty, everybody, and uh, we're going to catch you on the next.